for me it all started in 2011. I've just come back from an amazing Christmas in Thailand with my family and the initial pain I felt was when I stepped off the plane. My daughter Daisy is 12 now, um, but in October 2014 she was eight years old and she was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. In October I lost my younger sister Liberty to Ewing's. She was 14. I used to get intermittent uh, knee pain. The primary symptoms of, of bone cancer are obviously bone pain. Um, the quality of the pain can be intermittent or constant. It's often resistant to painkillers and characteristically can be worse at night. But I was getting more and more interrupted by the pain in my knee, especially in bed at night. And in the morning when I was going for the college bus, I'd have to ask people to, if I could sit down. Daisy experienced leg pain, intermittent and very random and it went on for a period of about 8 to 12 weeks. Before she was diagnosed she just had uh, pain in her shins all the time. She'd feel really sick and wake up at night crying saying she was in pain. Tiredness, a very common symptom that we see in primary care. Sweats and particularly night sweats and fever likewise. And obviously again with all other cancers, weight loss. I was laid on the sofa and my mum my was rubbing my legs and there was a lump on my leg. I went back to my physio and this time I think he saw the warning signs. My knee at this point was swollen, it was even more turned in and it felt warm. My husband looked at her leg and said it feels really warm, please will you take her to the GP. And very often there's a lump or swelling um, seen at the site of the pain. The lump can have grown rapidly and that's a characteristic symptom. And what we tend to look for is a lump that's anything over about four and a half to five centimetres in diameter. It was put down initially as a sporting injury. There may be problems with mobility, joint stiffness and reduced movement. There may be a limp. There may be easy bruising. 